Well, good morning, and welcome to the 2007 Memorial Day Parade here in downtown Wallingford. The weather's held out. We had the threat of rain this morning, but it looks like uh, all systems are go, and we're set for this 40-minute uh, parade. It's already started behind me. Let's enjoy some of the parade. We are now looking at the Vanguard Division, which is the first of five divisions. There is the Vanguard Division, followed by Divisions A, B, C, and D. And right now, as part of the Vanguard Division, are the Moran Mustangs a marching band out of Moran Middle School. Let's listen to them. The Moran Mustangs, who always march in the uh, in the vanguard unit of the parade. As we mentioned, there is the vanguard unit and four units in the parade. And now you see just in the middle of uh, your screen, Police Chief Douglas Dortenzio. Alongside him is Mayor William Dickinson, Fire Chief Peter Struble. State Senator uh, Len Fasano is there, as well as members of the town council. That is Councilman Jerry Farrell with his newborn. Jerry proudly uh, waving to the crowd here. That uh, is her first parade, and uh, I'm sure the first of many. Councilwoman Iris Papali and Vincenzo. Also marching along with the uh, with the parade, members of the town council. Now today's parade marshal is Catherine Riccio. Catherine Riccio is director for the Veteran Service Center of Marin Wallingford. She has been at the center for 18 years, and she did announce her retirement in November. There you see members of the uh, Memorial Day committee. and some of the Gold Star Sisters now coming into view. We should mention the Parade Marshal staff. They are Major James Chartel, U.S. Army retired, Captain David McGawkey, U.S. Navy retired, Captain John Carroll, United States Army, First Sergeant George Smiles, USMC retired, Staff Sergeant John Smith, U.S. Army, E-2 Jeff Schultz, U.S. Army, Machines Mate 2 Eric Anderson, U.S. Navy, Specialist Rodman Fulman of the United States Army, Specialist First Class, we should say, Rodman Fulton, Major Albert Trapani, Star Sergeant Major William Koch, U.S. Army, Staff Sergeant William Casey, U.S. Marine Corps, Sergeant First Class Paul Lazat, Bosom's Mate One, Bruce Gallup, the United States Navy, CS3 Jerome Kennedy of the United States Navy, and Private Second Class Brendan Callup. Your Memorial Day Chairperson is Jerome Kennedy, Secretary Mrs. Natalie Yasensky. This was actually one of uh, a series uh, of events that happened. Uh, yesterday, a ceremony was held at Dutton Park where Eagle Scout Ishmael Orabi dedicated a new memorial made by him at Dutton Park. Got a very nice write-up in the Record Journal this morning on page one. It was good to see. And also, a memorial service was held last night at Holy Trinity Church. Now, as we mentioned, there are four divisions in this 40-minute parade. The Vanguard unit just uh, just passed by, and soon we will be seeing the A division. The parade route, which is one and a half miles in length, starts at Doolittle Park 
goes down North Main Street, the Mile of Honor, as it has been dubbed for today. It takes a left-hand turn onto Center Street, where our location is, then takes a right into Doolittle Park, and then goes uh, around Doolittle Park, where actually the reviewing stand is, and then there will be a ceremony at uh, Doolittle Park. Your master of ceremonies for today's event at Doolittle Park is David Gessert. And now, as you could hear in the background, and you hear the uh, polite applause of the crowd as the A Division makes its way down the Mile of Honor. We'll soon get to uh, our vantage point. And there you see the A Division, the commander, the uh, familiar figure, just uh, second to the right, dressed all in white, is David Holloway of the U.S. Navy, Deputy Commander Staff Sergeant Roy Cannon of the U.S. Marine Corps. And they get a very nice, deserved round of applause from those here. This is the Major Raoul Luffberry, post 591 VFW and Auxiliary. And they will be followed by the Lyman Hall High School Marching Band. Let's listen to Lyman Hall. The Lyman Hall High School Marching Band under the capable direction of Dave Delavecchia. They are the host band this year. The two high schools alternate, Lyman Hall and Sheehan. Now we have the American Legion, Shaw Sign and Post 73, American Legion and Auxiliary. And they all look in uh, very, very good shape, able to uh, traverse this 1.5 mile course. And now coming into view, just making the left-hand turn down Center Street, is the Silver City Marine Corps League. And they are followed by the United States Navy SCC Edson Division. And a very nice uh, applause from the crowd here. This is the A division of the 2007 Memorial Day Parade here in Wallingford. Here is the DAV, Disabled American Veterans Car. Followed by a car and a Jeep with World War II and Korean War veterans. And it's good to see the greatest generation well represented here. These are the AMVETS now. Their car coming by. And there we have the very, very familiar figure. No Memorial Day parade will be complete without uh, our good friend Bob Jakes and his chopper and uh, his granddaughters becoming a Memorial Day tradition coming out to greet him. Good, always good to see Bobby here. Here is AMVETS, post 83, Meriden and Wallingford, just coming into view. And there is uh, our good friend, Town Council Chairperson Robert Parisi in a seat of honor riding shotgun in a very, very nice souped up vehicle. And Bob, who likes to, uh, likes to work a crowd, waving to everybody, having a few comments for uh, a few passers-by. Here are the antique veterans, world post number one in Meriden, Connecticut. And some more Army veterans.
Again, this is the A division of a four division parade. We actually started with the Vanguard unit, and this is the A division. They will make uh, that uh, walk from Dutton Park where they had ceremonies. They had a laying of the wreath by the uh, Gold Star Mothers, uh, including uh, Natalie Yasensky. There was the playing of taps by the Sheehan High School Band. So they had a brief ceremony there before the parade actually started at 9.30. And now you have more of the uh, antique war veterans making their way down. And perhaps you could hear them uh, in cadence. And once again, getting a well-deserved applause here. Now we go to the B Division, and that is Sergeant Edward Zokowicz, United States Army, the commander of the B Division. And he is followed by the Wallingford Police Department Color Guard. And right now, coming into view, coming onto your screen, is the Dag Hammerschild Middle School Band, along with the baton twirlers and the uh, flag personnel. And I know when we covered this parade in the past, there are just many, many, many members of the Dag Hammerschild Band. Why don't we give a listen to them? The Dag Hammerschild Band taking part in uh, Division B of the Wallingford Memorial Day Parade. Here is the Wallingford Junior Women's Club just coming by. And of course they do a lot of good work for the town. There you see them waving uh, at our camera and then uh, friends that they know on the sidelines. And there we just saw the uh, Knights of Columbus, an annual participant in this parade, all decked out in their uh, various outfits. Christopher Columbus Assembly, Pinta Council number five here in Wallingford. Of course, they are a staple at every uh, Memorial Day parade. They do, uh, they do a fine job. And now taking the turn onto Center Street, Wallingford Elks Lodge, Number 1365. And of course it would take uh, a day and a half to talk about all the good works that the, uh, that the Elks Club uh, does in town. Just, uh, just a marvelous, marvelous uh, organization. And there you see some of their uh, dignitaries. And a nice banner just uh, coming into your view now. Elks 1365 and Vets Together. The Benevolent Protective Order of Elks. Very, very nice. Now we have some, uh, some veterans here. And this is a, a new Wallingford Rides for Patriots is the sign just coming into uh, your view now. And then you see a number of, uh, number of Patriots uh, on their uh, motorcycles, uh, both men and women, uh, all veterans, all proud to serve their country and uh, getting a nice, nice hand from the crowd here. Some very nice machines they have there too. Of course, Rod Fultman, one of the uh, chair people, wanted all the uh, veterans uh, returned from Iraq and uh, Afghanistan to take part. There is our friend Nick the Enforcer on his chopper. Nick with the uh, American flag flying in the back. 
Nick, who's helped us out on a lot of our uh, football broadcasts over the year. There's Nick with that American flag just uh, on back of uh, his chopper. Wallingford's Rides for Patriots, all part of the B Division here. You're watching the 2007 Wallingford Memorial Day Parade here on WPAA. I'm your host this morning, Edward McCarver, Eric Schrader, and Dave Burkhart, bringing you the sights and sounds of the Wallingford Memorial Day Parade 2007. We had the threat of rain, and it's still uh, a little overcast, but I think we will be able to get this uh, full parade in. Uh, as we mentioned, it is a relatively short parade, uh, 40 minutes in length. It is a 1.5-mile traverse from Dutton Park down to Doolittle Park, and it's, uh, and it's good, to see, uh, good to see them all make it. Well, we now approach the C division, and the familiar figure just uh, on the left of your screen now is Commander Sergeant Ray Rise, United States Army, Deputy Commanders Dawn Lindauer and Lisa Zaccaro are the Deputy Commanders, and they're, uh, they're Ray, again, as I say, a very uh, familiar figure, former Councilman Ray Rise, and of course uh, served his country proudly with some helicopter action in Vietnam. And behind Ray Rice and the deputy commanders, the Mark T. Sheehan High School Band set to perform. Why don't we listen to them? Under the direction of David Galinas, the Lyman, uh, the Sheehan rather, uh, marching band as the West Side High School, both represented here in C Division. And now we have see, uh, some Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts and uh, Cub Scouts. And of course, this is a uh, kind of a treat for the kids. They get a chance to uh, walk in the parade to be recognized by their uh, friends and neighbors. And of course, we talked uh, earlier about what Eagle Scout Ismail Arabi did with that fine uh, memorial that he did at Dutton Park uh, yesterday. Got a nice uh, write-up in the paper today. Page one, which was very good to see on Memorial Day. And it's good to see that the Boy Scouts are uh, well represented here. There we see a uh, Cub Scout. Uh, opting to wear a uh, Tom Brady shirt rather than uh, the traditional Cub Scout uniform. And uh, there they are with the uh, Den Mothers and uh, other representatives. I see uh, a few fathers there walking along. And of course, this is a, uh, this is a treat for the kids. They get a chance to uh, go down, see everything, wave to their uh, friends and neighbors, get a, get a nice little workout. The parents get a nice uh, little workout, the Den's mo Den Mothers. And there you see them uh, waving their flags. The uh, Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts of Wallingford uh, very well represented this morning and getting a uh, polite applause from those assembled here as they make their way down the Mile of Honor down North Main Street. We are just at the turnoff spot on Center Street. And there are some... Uh, Cub Scouts, I see a few familiar uh, Yalesville individuals there doing, doing very well, doing a, uh, doing a fine job. So, Stephen School, Cub Pack number six. And then we have some, uh, some racers here. Looks like a little uh, variation on a soapbox derby as a number of uh, Cub Scouts uh, opting to do that. And now we have the... Uh, Girl Scouts, Daisies and Brownies, Daisy Troop 115 in your picture now. 
making their way down, and it looks like they're all having a good time. Looks like the parents are having a good time. Again, waving at the uh, crowd. Very, very nice. Very, very good to see it. Good to see that the Cub Scouts, the Girl Scouts, the Daisies, the Brownies, the Boy Scouts, they're all uh, alive and well represented here in the town of Wallingford. And again, very, uh, very good applause from uh, those who've had a good turnout today for an event that was uh, threatened by rain. Very, very good uh, crowd turnout today. And now for those of you that are security minded, we have the Twin Dragons Martial Arts of Yalesville, Connecticut. And there you see a number of uh, yellow belts, orange belts, all the way up to uh, black belts. So uh, whenever we need security, we have that. Now very quickly, uh, in and out of your screen is Guy Casanova, the deputy commander of the D Division. Guy Casanova back at his usual post. Last year you may remember that Guy and his son Bo were parade marshals, but now Guy back at his uh, usual position at this at these Memorial Day parades as the commander of the D Division. And then following fire department, uh, local 1236, we have the uh, various trucks and uh, members of the fire department uh, walking by. And then uh, some uh, state-of-the-art machines coming by. That's the town of Wallingford uh, Fire Rescue just coming into your screen, the Yalesville, rather, Volunteer Fire Department Squad number five coming into view. I happened to go by the Yalesville Fire Department yesterday. Uh, I live in Yalesville and saw them uh, shining up that machine. And then another uh, fine vehicle. It's just amazing, just amazing uh, state-of-the-art machines uh, that they have there. And now coming into view is the North Farms Volunteer of Fire and Rescue, Wallingford, Connecticut. And uh, amongst that crowd, there you see him in the uh, center now, is uh, our good friend, Tim Wall. And uh, I know we did it last year. You could talk, you could talk volumes about uh, our friend, uh, Timmy Wall, of course, does, does a great job with the uh, Volunteer of Fire Department. Also is a very busy young man as we have the Relay for Life coming up in Wallingford at Lyman Hall on the weekend of the 8th and 9th. And of course, Tim is uh, actively involved in the Relay for Life. And now the North Farms Volunteer Fire Department coming by. This is Tanker 7 coming into view. And now we have other uh, members of the Fire Department just uh, coming into view. I see the familiar figure of uh, Billy Salata, a friend to us here at uh, WPAA on uh, past football broadcast. Proud member of the fire department. And engine number eight coming into view. And you could just hear those uh, engines purr. Just, just amazing, amazing machines. You, know, you, you never want to have a uh, fire truck come to your house. You, you never hope that you need to, to call a fire department. But it's uh, if if you're unfortunate that you do need them, and I think it's for more than to get a cat out of a tree. Uh, they're just state of the art uh, machines that they have here. Now we have the East Wallingford Fire Department Ladder Eight coming into view. <laughs> and now members of the Hunter's Ambulance, the paramedics, we hope they have a uh, quiet day today. We hope that their services will not be called upon. And following the Hunter's Ambulance as uh, we know we were scheduled to have some uh, horses, but uh, perhaps the horses opted to uh, maybe go to Belmont instead and not uh, decide not to uh, not to have it. 
Well, we said it was a quick parade, 40 minutes in length. Luckily, the rain held off. We had a, uh, had a uh, good turnout. I am uh, going to take my position out here. As soon as I unravel, unravel this here, there you see the crowds just, uh, just uh, finishing up. As uh, as we said, a very a very quick moving parade, but one that's uh, thoroughly uh, enjoyed by everyone. You know, I was talking to someone, and I and I think what they told me they said next to celebrate Wallingford, this is probably the most well attended event in town. It's very short. It's a uh, forty minute parade but it, uh, it is well attended and the town just love it, loves it. It's, it is Memorial Day. It is a, uh, a day of remembrance, the true uh, meaning of Memorial Day as, as we honor, uh, honor our veterans, honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. And once again, a, uh, a good job by the town of Wallingford and uh, a good job by the uh, weather gods to uh, hold off on any inclement weather. Uh, this is Ed McCarver for Dave Burkhart and Eric Shader behind the scenes. We hope you have a good day. We almost made it. We always, there's always one that comes through. Very good. But she's not littering. She's not littering. She did a, did a very good job. We hope you enjoyed.